I have a friend of mine, John Ross, who runs a nonprofit called MicroAid. He goes into situations, disaster sites, things like that, long after everybody else has cleared out and the money has gone away. And I can't shake out the impact of how many MicroAid type organizations it's going to take to help deal with this multi-state tragedy that's over such a huge piece of geographical territory. I mean, just the number of people that live in those disaffected areas, the businesses, you can't compare Katrina with Sandy. Uh, different time, different place, different uh, uh, part of the country, different, every, so many different things, both horrific tragedies. But you have so many tens of millions of people affected in this tight little zone. And there's so many that still right now don't have the resources to rebuild. They are going to be people are going to be hearing about this for a long time. And I think one good thing that comes out of this is hopefully we don't have any more Katrinas. And I mean that from the social responsibility standpoint, not the storm standpoint. There are a lot of people in this country unfairly did not pay enough attention because this was people of color in Louisiana. And all of a sudden now with, you know, Wall Street underwater, people, you know, it's, it, it, I just hope and pray that our attitude towards anyone affected by flood, tornado, hurricane changes because of this. Because it's, I, I, I encountered a lot of uh, uh, ethnocentric storm bias over the course of the last 10 days as I've made my way around the country. Just a lot of flippant, uninformed commentary, you know? And it's like, you know, hey, were you paying attention down in Christian? Now all of a sudden you're really engaged because, you know, people can't get into the 40th uh, floor of a building to get to their office and their $250,000 a year desk job. 